Growing up in Arc City, Arcalol is always such a huge thing. I don't think I've missed any coronations or any of those. In my sophomore year, I was voted as one of the top five finalists, and then I ended up being voted as Queen Alala 89. And so that would probably be my absolute favorite memory of just getting to share that time and make Arcalol even that much more special being a part of the Cali family. Uh, went to the street games, we got to judge the parade and sit up there and watch all the different loads. So it was the most amazing experience that I'll never forget. It was a really good experience to be one of the finalists for Queen Alala when I was here at Cali. It's very nice because it's the kind of small town that you see in movies, small town things that you see in movies. The, the international players that we have here, they get to, 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 to live that and experience everything. And uh, I kind of like see them and like remember what I, I went through and it's just so nice to see this. Arcalol is such a special time in this community because you see all these different civic groups and entities and schools coming together to create this really special atmosphere. And so for me to then become a Queen Alala candidate it was a bit like growing up, like a bit like disillusioning because I got to see behind the curtain. I got to see the, the magic, but a different side. It was really special. Um, Our dog walk in the parade, <laughs> Mosby. <laughs> Working with international students is absolutely a pleasure. It is uh, the best job I have had by far. You know, when I think about it in my seven years that I've been here, um, I have roughly had over 2,000 plus kids that have already come in through our dorms, more than that. And the thing that gives me goosebumps, I've got goosebumps now, is thinking that I could throw an arrow at a map and know at least probably one person who lives in that country, wherever that lands. And whether I knew them well while they were here or not, just knowing that I, I have tiger connections all around this, this world. You can go pretty much anywhere, and if you're wearing a Cali shirt, someone can say, hey, I know Cali, you know, and uh, mostly it's because of the great success we've had in athletics. Probably some of the difference I've seen since 1973, um, many more opportunities, especially for uh, students, uh, especially females. When I first came to Cali, that was just when Title IX was beginning, and uh, we didn't have scholarships for female athletes at that time. Uh, I came on an academic, but I played, you know, I played sports just like the guys did. And many, many students today don't understand the opportunities that many people didn't have just because of their gender or their race. Also, I think something has really changed. Uh, when I look at the athletic part, athletes are bigger, stronger, better. Uh, but today, you specialize. It's not, when I played, I played volleyball, basketball, I ran track and I played tennis. Uh, today, you specify, you, and you do that at a very young age. Um, and I hate to see that sometimes, because sometimes you might find out that you have a different passion, but you didn't take the opportunity to experience it. The, the part I think I don't see that much difference is the support you get from one another here as a faculty member or a staff member. Because um, everyone here at Cali wants everyone to succeed, and so they're there to help you. And if there's any that aren't, they usually don't last long. 
because they aren't in that mode of helping people to succeed and that's what we're here for. If, if we wouldn't have pitched in and helped each other, we'd have never made it through everything and we rely on one another and I think you'll find that, you know, each of the departments would probably say that they had to do that for each other and they had to help each other out and I think in most of your classrooms you'll find most of the students will say that they can find that with their instructors and that most professors would, you know, they're going to listen to their, their students and they're going to care when something major happens and they're gonna to try to work with those students and help them. And I know, you know, the faculty that I see up and down this hall, they're Zooming with students who can't make it into their offices and they're talking to them and they're trying to help work out things. And, you know, and if the students can make it in, they're talking to them here. I just think there's a lot of caring going on, trying to help people make it through the tough times and, and trying to help them be the best they can be. The thing that I like most about Cali is that people are able to flourish here. Um, students and even employees are able to find their niche and take root and then really thrive. Cali is a living institution and so I really got the opportunity this last semester when I worked on the Centennial book for publication this, this last year we've been working on it to learn a lot more about Cali's history and what it was like a hundred years ago. But then in my short lifetime, I've been on this campus since I was very young, four years old, my dad started working here. And then I came as a student and then now as a professional. It looks vastly different than it did even that long ago. But the essence or the living institution that is Cali is still the same. So there have been a lot of changes, but one thing that will never change I hope it never changes, is that feeling of family. We've been through several administrative changes with presidents that have come and gone. Um, we've been through, there's always new rules that you have to follow, new policies you have to do. Everything's always changing in the world of academics. A lot of the times the students don't see that because it's behind the scenes technology. Um, even just in the library, when I first started here, uh, the library had just recently automated before I came aboard, which was great. Um, but when I started, we had four student computers in the library. And to compare it to today, we have 48 student computers here in the library. Of course, the entire campus is Wi-Fi, and probably about 75% of our collection is now online. But the cool thing about change is, the more we change, the more we stay the same, because it's still always focused on student success. We're really fortunate on this campus that Cali tends to make sure that they hire professionals in that field. And so we are lucky that, you know, that we have the ability to train with and be trained by professionals who keep us up to date with the technology that we need. Here we are in a small community and I just see Cowley as very progressive. And that might seem like a word that doesn't seem like it would fit, but it really is. You see individuals come here, and whether they are faculty, staff, students, they get to move forward and grow. Students walk onto campus as freshmen who think that they're just going to take classes, and they're, they're full-time students, and they're just going to take classes, and they think, I'm gonna take my basics, and that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm gonna move on to my four year, and they come in and they take on leadership roles and they're active in organizations and clubs. And by the time they leave here, they have been part of showcases with their works. They have been officers in clubs and organizations and they are leaving here with technical skills, with leadership skills, and they walk onto a four-year campus with all of that 